let's say you are a security engineer and you are sitting in the office then you went to website just try to understand if there is any malicious attack is going on the internet or not then you were able to find that one of the attacker is trying to scan or try to attack the public IP addresses so the attacker might be using the IP address which is 12.12.12.10 and there might be the chances the attacker gonna use that IP address to attack your firewall or try to scan your firewall so on precautionary step what you do basically you go to your firewall and you block if the traffic is going to come from the 12.12.12.10 and it has to be get denied so that is something step we take if the attack is coming from one of the attacker now the question is do you think this is the only ip address might be available on the internet who is trying to do malicious attack or is this the only attacker is on the globe who tried to attack our system <laughs> no right because there are hundreds and thousands of attackers and public ip addresses available who try to attack our system or firewall now the question is how would you know all those ip addresses or most of those ip addresses which you can block upon this firewall so one way you have to do that task that you have to go to internet and search for all those malicious public ip addresses and you have to keep adding them on the firewall that would be the one way but what if the ip address is already be available on the cloud as a malicious ip addresses right and you have to just download on the firewall just like that you know well that is something we can achieve with palo alto firewall so let's see how we can achieve that task by using our today's topic which is edl also known as external dynamic list so if you go to firewall there is an option called objects in in the objects there is an option called external dynamic list so by using this list we can achieve this task let's try to understand this in little depth so what happened basically the palo alto they have created a cloud and in the cloud it is available as a malicious you know the ip list as well as url list so they have created this list all you have to do is you have to download that list in here but that is something you cannot do it from your demo firewall right like this is the demo firewall so you cannot see that but if you have live firewall and you have taken the services from palo alto then you are going to see those list in here so so that is the one way you can add all those ip addresses like malicious ip addresses in here now the next task would be let's say still you want to handle the list by yourself like you want to monitor the traffic on the internet and you want to add that list in here so let's see how we can do that task well to create one of these external dynamic list all you need to do is you need to go into add and here you can define what would be the name of your list so it would be totally depend upon the type of the list for example in here we have four different types right the first belong to predefined ip list which is coming from palo alto this would be your ip list where you can define the ip addresses this would be your domain list where you can define domain like google.com something like that and in here you can define the url for example if you have kind of url you can define in here but this option is going to work when you have url filtering license so let's say you have the requirement to create one of the ip list so let's select one of the malicious or let's do it like this ideal malicious ip list right so this is one of the list we're going to create then type would be ip list and here you have to define the path where this ip list is going to locate it for example let me show in here for example i have this ip address right which is 192.168.48.130 let's consider this is one of my iis server so when you create the iis server your system admin does know so it creates one of the folder called inet pub right so in inet pub we need to create one of the folder which would be belong to edl right so let's create one of the edl in there and then in edl you need to store the file and this file is going to be in the format of the text for example we are going to create the malicious 
kind of IP list for example dot txt so this is going to be txt file and under this txt file you need to store all the IP addresses you are going to find on the internet and that is something you can control from this EDL let's discuss about what would be the use of EDL in the future so let's first define this into the Palo Alto firewall so let's go back in here okay let's go to IP address which is 192.168.48.130 this is my IP address and in the path I need to define the EDL right so it is going to be directly EDL it's not going to be inetpub and then after that I need to define the text file name which would be like uh, malicious IP I believe so let's consider this is the malicious IP list we created and dot txt so this is like complete path of the you know the text file we're going to create under the IIS server in the EDL folder and then after that is going to ask you like certificate profile we could keep it as a non and then it asks you like what would be your fetching time so let's do okay first right so what is going to happen basically we have this IIS we created in here and in there like uh, we have created multiple files right belong to malicious IP address malicious URL malicious domain so these are the list we have created on RIS now what happened this might be not the one firewall you might be having in your organization let's say you have like uh, 10 20 or 30 firewalls you might be having in your organization right so with the help of this EDL what can you do basically you can create one of the common or shared policy which is going to be available on all the firewalls right so any changes you make on the IIS server under the text file every firewall is going to check with the IIS and they are going to download this list so you do not have to go into the firewall and update your group or maybe IP address so that is going to block that particular malicious IP right all you need to do is you need to just define that EDL in IIS and the firewall is going to fetch this list from the IIS and going to update its own list. Now let's talk about how we can configure EDL into the policy. As you recall from our previous video we have created one of the policy this is basically for denying the traffic if any traffic is coming from internet this is the outside as a source and hitting the inside then they are basically going to take action which is deny so this rule we can use for the EDL as well because our goal is to block the malicious IP list right now let's select the same policy we created which is deny traffic malicious IP and in there we need to define source and the source this time we are going to define EDL so we need to go into add and this is going to show us the all the list we created and in here there it is our ideal malicious IP list right so we need to select that list and say okay so that is something you can add your external dynamic list in here let's say we created the list only for the IP but in future you might be going to have the requirement for the URL as well so all you have to do is you need to go into the add and in there you need to define your type if it is like URL list you need to define URL or maybe domain but your path is going to be same you have to define the path which would be belong to your IIS server and then after that the folder for example then after that the txt file name which is going to be for example domain list.txt right or maybe URL list.txt then after that you need to define your update frequency so this is very simple you can manage your list from the EDL now one quick tip I would like to give in here so when we actually created one of our EDL list we had defined the as a server host name right so what happened once you define the host name what happened basically sometime it it is not able to resolve the host name on based upon the EDL so 
we saw the firewall could ping to the host name but for some reason this host name was not resolving and the adl it just failed to fetch so at this point what you can do is you need to define the ip address of that particular is server then only is going to work fine so that is something you can control your firewall to update your malicious ip maybe malicious url or malicious domain by using edl also known as external dynamic list so this is for now and i'll see you in the next topic see ya